feels like a good one. Oh, it's two. What? Two what the heck? Yeah. Oh, that feels like a good one. Oh, it's two. Two at a time. Guys, I just got two. Here's the one right below it. The second one. Two in one cast. Doesn't get any better than that. All right, guys, I just caught two crappie on a two jig rig at the same time they bit. Must have been a little school swimming by, but two 164th ounce jigs. This is winter fishing, late December. It's only about 35 degrees right now. Pretty chilly, but uh, great day fishing. I'll go ahead and let these guys go. Hopefully get some uh, little bigger ones here. But this, those are fish uh, 12 and 13 for tonight. Well, what's up guys, this is Zach from Anders Escape and today I'm doing some winter crappie fishing and this is a dock at Smithville Lake. It's late December, it's about 40 degrees. Last week it's been in the 20s, really cold. But what I'm doing today to catch these winter crappie is you gotta use really small jigs and work them really slowly. So right here I have two 164th ounce jigs and I'll show you guys these. And what I've done is put a little bit of scent on there, there's a little bit of crappie nibble and as soon as I put those crappie nibbles on I did find I got a little more of a bite. And so this is a 164th ounce jig, and then about two feet down, I have a second 164th ounce jig. And I've caught four crappie so far, two came on the top jig, two came on the bottom jig, so they're biting equally on each jig. And this is a four pound test line, really thin line, and you just work the jig ever so slowly. So when I have the jig in the water here, guys, my pole tip's staying down like this, and about every 10 seconds, I'll just move it up a little bit and back down. So hardly any movement at all but uh, these crappie are only biting it when you're moving it real slowly and using these real small jigs. So I hope you learned something here today. Thanks for watching. All right. Oh, got one guys. Oh, it's a nice little crappie, real small jig. Here we go, this is a 164th ounce jig. Oops, smaller crappie, but uh, right now it's late December. It's about 40 degrees out. It's been real cold this whole week, but uh, a nice little crappie, just catch them on a real small jig, working it real slowly. Alright guys, fish number two, back to back. Almost looks like the same fish. Caught him on the bottom jig, I'm using a two jig rig. Hopefully I can get some keepers here, this looks a little different. But again, you gotta work these jigs so slow. All right, guys, I, you can see the crappie nibble in the crappie's mouth. And I only put a crappie nibble on the top jig, and he just took the top jig. And before that, they were taking the bottom jig. So maybe the crappie nibbles do work. All right, guys, got another one. Fortunately, they're all small. They're all biting on the, the bottom jig. This is a real small 164th out. This feels like a nicer one. Ooh, this might be a keeper. Might be a keeper, guys. Let's see. Get on the top jig. And you can see my bottom jig right there. Oh, there we go. This fish number five. Top hook. Or six, yeah, six. They're all a little small, though, but. Alright, catching them left and right guys. All hitting on the top one for some reason now. Number seven. There's the crappie nibble and the jig. Alright guys, I think the key is every time after I let it sit for about 10 seconds without moving it, I move it real slightly and usually when I do that real slight movement after 10 seconds of just having it still, they seem to bite. Oh, there we go. Alright guys, there's another one. This time it's on the bottom jig. This is number 9.
You're using the exact same setup I. Oh, there we go. Alright, number 11. Getting up there. 